Yo, what is going on guys? It's 792 here. I'm here with who? Uh, Parrish Baker. And what did you do at the Vegas Regional? Uh, decided to play in Zectors. Oh my gosh, dude. You, you gotta show us the spicy tech. Unfortunately, <laughs> you're X4 or X5. It doesn't matter, doesn't but matter. it seemed like a fun deck. Let's get started. It's mm -hmm. been a while. <laughs> so, first off, three Dragonfly. Um, staple in the deck, you have to play it. Uh, three Centipede. Um, Basically, you want to see one of these and then the other ones uh, to start comboing. Um, then you have the three Hornet. Uh, don't want to see this going first, but you still need it for combo. And then you really want to see Ladybug. If you see Ladybug, you get full combo and it's crazy. Um, the one of names that we have to play and are still good. Uh, the one Giga Weevil special summons himself. This is how I make Hope Harbinger. Um, the one Giga Mantis, again, can special summon from the graveyard and extend your plays. And then the one Firefly, um, this is literally just a, for a name for Psych Strike, and that is it. For sure, for sure. Um, next, Dasher and Celestial. For, just a package. Yeah, just the package. <laughs> uh, then three Token Collector. Oh, main decking. How was that yeah. for you today? Um, it won me a game against Prank Kids. That's it. Yeah. Other than sure. that, I just slided it out. I yeah. mean, if I see it and like they try to nibby me or something. And yeah, I you were basically prepare for any brave engine basically yeah. yeah that's true that's true i feel you bro yeah uh the one oliver because we're playing durandal so we can search him and extend plays uh then the spice one of each hand. what no way and then of course hold on oh my gosh you <laughs> are crazy so what may you want to play one of each hand trap um this deck is a glass cannon so if it gets stopped it's just done and i'm I'm playing Insectors. I'm gonna I'm gonna break your board. Like yeah, it's, it's gonna happen. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so yeah, uh, scythe for cross out or for uh, DP scythe. lock. Yeah, DP lock. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the best card in the deck, three sex strike. What does that do? So you basically can send an Insector card from your hand or field to the graveyard, special summon Insector or equip that Insector from a monster from your uh, deck to a currently like face up Insector. Um, it's crazy. Like, I, I when I was playing against um, Barrier Statue, guy went Skill Drain. I went Sex Strike. I had a Picofelina up, equipped Hornet to the uh, Picofelina. Oh the my gosh, that's crazy, man. So crazy good. Uh, the one's at Caliber because we have to play it. Um, another can be another extender. Two Durandal. I think I'm gonna bring this back up to three, just because if you see it, it's just free Dragonfly combos. That's true. Um, extenders, one Monster Reborn, one Foolish Burial, so you can see Ladybug. Uh, the two Fusion Destiny for DPE. And then uh, two Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. This card is crazy, because I've... I, again, this deck is old, and you can see, like, weird hands, like... Centipede, Centipede, Firefly. So you can go, like, Centipede, Equip, Firefly, Cocoon, go for Dragonfly. Or for, uh, whatever you need at the time. Oh, it's my C tech card. And the uh, three cross out in the main because we're playing all those one ofs. Yeah. So, how many times did you resolve this card today? I want to say like at least once every match. Uh, at least. Uh, or it was in my hand once every match. Dang. Sure. All right, all right. And the one called by the grave and then the infinite impermanence for, sure. for cross off target. Would you play like more hand traps or you uh, want? I feel like the hand traps are fine. I actually had one game where I lost that I drew three hand traps and I'm like, what? <laughs> so, for sure. Um, right. Extra deck. Yep. Dagda for scythe combo. Staple. Bull sword to kill them. Appalosa, because you can make it. Uh, double pick a Felina. This can cycle stuff back and allow you to grind. Uh, one B Trooper Armor Horn. This is an extra normal summon for the combo. Verte, um, Shinobi Insect Hagi Camaro. So sometimes when you have this out, um, you're locked into insects, so you can't like uh, do anything. So you can make like, if you already went to pick a Felina before, you can use this in another main, uh, name, go to mm -hmm. this insect, and then go to Apollosa. Yep, yep. So, and it has a decent effect where if they, if a card is popped to that uh, he's pointing to, you can special summon one from the graveyard, but when it leaves the field, it's banished, and that's why we play this. So, I did resolve this card like three times. Uh, Zeus, Gaga Ga Cowboy, because we're at a regional. <laughs> Abyss Dweller, Cicada King, Hope Harbinger, and 
and DP. Okay, let's go. But yeah, um, so so like, can you show us some like really cool combo you just did to like other players and me? <laughs> yeah. All right, for sure, man. So basically, like. The main thing oh. that you want to see is if you see Centipede and like Ladybug. If you if you have that in hand, that's full. Combo. Dang. Oh, can you like show us how the yeah. combo and then the uh, so board? You go normal summon Centipede. Centipede effect. If again, this is why you play cross out. You don't want to get Vec Veil or anything. Yup, yup, yup. Ladybug. Ladybug is going to send. Mm -hmm. You're going to special summon a Dragonfly. Yup. Or no, not special summon. Sorry, wrong card. We are going to search. <laughs> Let's go, bro. We will get to it. We're gonna search Zectrike. Zectrike's going to activate, sending the centipede, summoning out Dragonfly. Dragonfly is going to activate, and you're just looping from here. Basically, it feels like back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> so now, now we're going centipede. There we go. True, true, true. Sorry, it's been a long day. With only two card combo, right? Yeah, two card. That's combo. That's crazy, man. Normal. If your normal summon goes through, you're most likely comboing. Uh, centipede's gonna go. Make this level 5, doesn't matter, you're about to get rid of all of that. Um, you're going to search another dragonfly. So you'll search the dragonfly because you're about to get another normal summon. So then you're going to use these two to link it to armor horn. Armor horn will then allow you to normal summon again, so now you're just doing it again. Just another loop. So on this one though, you want to go... Centipede, Centipede, Ladybug, and Centipede search out a Giga Mantis so that you can get the uh, the Wombo combo. Yep. So yeah. Another one. <laughs> so at this point, this guy is going to be level 7. Oh, so he's, seven? he's level 7 because of the Ladybugs. So now you're going to take your Centipede and your Armor Horn and make a Pick of Felina. Pick of Felina's effect's gonna activate. You ditch one of your cards that was in your hand. You're gonna mm -hmm. equip a Hornet from deck. Yep. Um, here we go. Then you're gonna activate Gigamantis' effect out of hand to equip it to the Dragonfly. So now these are both yep. equipped to Dragonfly. Hornet's going to pop your Gigamantis, which is going to activate Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, and Chainlink 3. So you'll get. Oh, sorry, there, there's another part of the combo. You definitely. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, you're definitely gonna go this. You're gonna have that, but you're going to make. Uh, uh, you're gonna use Pick of Felina to shuffle your centipedes back. Forgot to do that. Definitely did not forget to do that in the tournament. I was doing that all day. But you'll get an extra card, and then here you'll do this. Chain like one, chain like two, chain like three. Um, summon out your centipedes, and then Giga Mantis will give you another dragonfly. So now from here you can kind of see. You're just working with everything. You have this effect is the only one that's been used. You have three more effects to use. That's insane. So you can go. Um, this guy is gonna wait. Yeah, this guy is, is level seven at the moment. So you just start pumping him up, getting searches. So this will search Giga Weevil. Yep. Make him level eight. And then Giga Weevil goes to hand. Then you can go Giga Weevil onto your centipede. Like the deck is just Pop it with the hornet that you attach from deck. So now you have uh, that. You get two so extra searches. These searches don't really matter, but um, it's, it can just set you up for next okay, turn. Well, like well, most well, of the time, I just I search Zek Trike for next turn and then a Zek Caliber yeah, in case so I need it. And plus, you could like set up with a DPE with an artifact. Correct. Like, That's the, crazy. Um, that is crazy. So that would be in hand here. Um, we still have a dragonfly effect, so we can start linking the stuff off. So I would go centipede this into Dagda. And then the Dagda, we will activate dragonfly chain Dagda, which will set our scythe. Yeah, so there's our scythe. I mean, here's the this is going to activate. We want to make this because right now this guy is currently level. I, I said level seven, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah, he's currently level seven, so we need to pump him up to eight. So Dragonfly is going to activate, pumping him up to eight. Summon again. Yep. So and that gives us the other name that we need to pump up one more time. So there's the other centipede effect. This is. Pop up the Giga Weevil to, to level eight. So now we have two level eights on board. Yeah, honestly, this is just gonna another search, another Zectrike. It doesn't really matter. So you're just plussing at that point. Um, probably go for like Dragonfly or something because you have another normal. Something. It doesn't matter. Um, 
Next, uh, you'll overlay really these two into uh, a Hope Harbinger. I played it in defense a lot because I was scared yeah. for a lot of things. Yeah, Lightning Storm. Yeah. 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 Um, next, uh, you're going to really good May. Uh, this is crap to the It also just helps you make dark. Um, Anaconda. Result with this format, you're saying. Dang, that's a strong board. <laughs> so at this point here, you could either go, like you can go do different routes. So you can make Cicada King, mm -hmm. or you could um, go for like Appaloosa instead or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. You have different routes, but um, this one would be the Cicada King route. Yeah. So um, play the Cicada King in defense, activate this, dump the Fusion Destiny, dump. Have DP on a few. Yeah, I have DP. Dang. So, how many times have you brought this whole combo today? Just wondering. Um, I maybe did it. I know I did it six times in the group. Out of eight? Six? Six out of eight rounds? Yeah, I want to say I did it almost every round. Oh my god, that's crazy. I, I definitely did it almost every round. I didn't go. Uh, I went 0 2 in one round because I saw three hand traps. And I was like, what yeah, the dang, it happens, man. But yeah, that, that's the end combo. That's the end board. Yeah. Wait, thank you for the deck profile. Before ending this video, do you want to give any shout outs? Uh, shout out to Dalvin. Um, he, had, he he helped me with this deck a little bit, and shout out to Thaddeus, Tyler, Pacer, everyone here, all the boys I came with, just because they're awesome people. For sure. So yeah. And thank you for the deck profile. Your boy Starborn Night Two is signing out. Peace.